A while back, I picked up the Roadmaster Granite Peak from Walmart for $64.99. Not bad for a bike that you don't plan to take out on a trail. This is just your average cruise around town hybrid. They must have boxed this thing up in the evening at about $4.59 on a Friday. That's because things like the placard that's normally ingrained in the front spokes was ripped out and just laid down in the box. The pedal packaging ripped all to pieces. Some honesty on the info card. They say mountain style frame. It also mentions that it's for light trail use. There was a little bit of packaging damage. The seat tube was flattened on one side, made it difficult to get the seat post in. And the down tube had a big gouge in the side from the front tire rubbing up against it during shipping. Also a frayed brake cable. This one's really frayed, but that happens a lot on these lower end bikes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was late Friday afternoon. And that's because the reflector was on the seat post upside down. But that's trivial. There are, however, some major concerns, and I'll get to those in a bit. But I will say, the biggest high point was the fact that out of the box, the rear and the front derailleur worked perfectly. Very little adjustment was needed, and that's more the exception than the rule on these type bikes. Usually, you have to fight with them. This one worked very well. I gotta say, put together, this bike looks good. It looks like it costs more than $65. And it is what it is. It's not trying to be anything it's not. So that's another plus for it. It's also a good thing because the feature set is what you would expect on a bike in this price range. You get TD1 twist shifters, though I will say, I'm impressed with the way TD1 handled the low high thing. Front crank set, no one, two, three. You just have low and high and wherever you land in the middle is where the middle gear is. You get an aluminum placard for branding, but like most Pacific bikes, it's off center and off to the side. Front suspension, it's nothing to write home about. The branding, that's a curious choice. Sounds far tougher than it is. Standard generic front tire and single wall rim, nothing fancy, but this one was fairly true out of the box. It'll do. Generic front V-brake, I'm gonna call this frayed cable brand. On the frame, the paint and the graphics look really good. The pedals, pretty cheap. They look a lot like the Huffy Rock Creek pedals. The crank arms look a lot like the Huffy Nighthawk crank arms, very thin. The bottom bracket, also tiny. But you're not gonna be beating up trails on this bike, so that's not gonna matter. Both the rear and the front derailleur are TD1. Now, I've never been a huge fan of these, but I will say, I do tend to like what works. And out of the box, these work. You also get a KMC HP chain, and that KMC chain has made it up to six speeds in the rear. Everything was usable for $64.99 until I saw this. This is a bad weld on the top tube to the seat tube. Now, I don't think this would be all that dangerous over time. It would probably rust, but down lower were the big problems. Down on the opposite chain stay, there's a weld that's actually coming apart. This could be dangerous. And when I ride a bike, I want to be safe on it and more importantly, want other people to be safe on their bikes. So I'm not gonna let the person that was gonna get this bike have it. I'm gonna take it back. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. This experience made them decide that maybe spending a little more on a bike was a good idea to start out. So maybe, in the end, this made a great entry-level bike because it moved them right onto something else. And that's not to say that every granite peak that you get is gonna have these issues. This is clearly a one-off. So if you have one and it works, great. But this one is not going to be ridden. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And stay tuned for more great bike videos.